Welcome. Jason. So good he sometimes fills in for himself. This is Voice in the Desert. Hey everyone, my name is Jason. Welcome back to Voice in the Desert, the Christian conservative podcast talk show. Today I have a few things I want to talk about. I've been uh, doing a lot of researching on Breitbart and stuff. I watched uh, Trump's speech of the joint session of Congress the other day, the whole thing, and a few, a while it got a little bit dry and stuff, but, you know, I, I survived as long as I could. But uh, there were some interesting things that happened, some interesting articles I read. There was a standing ovation that uh, the Navy SEAL's widow got during the speech. Um, it was really interesting. It was like really a heart-touching moment, and I thought it was great that he uh, honored it. And right after all of the media started bashing Trump about all kinds of stuff like that, but uh, it was really cool. But uh, there are some things I noticed, some things that Breitbart noticed. Uh, there were a few Democrats who refused to stand up and refused to clap when she was getting her standing ovation. At the beginning, when she was introduced, they clapped, but they did not stand up and did not applaud at all. I noticed, like, I'm, I'm not one of those nitpicky people. I'm like, okay, you didn't do it, big deal. But this is a big deal. Okay, this really is. This person lost their husband in war fighting for you so that you could sit down and disrespect him. That makes no sense. That makes no sense. He fought for you, especially this Bernie Sanders dude who didn't stand up. A socialist. A basic communist. I'm not going to call him a communist. Okay, I'm sorry I said that, but he's a socialist, which is a step down from communism. It's... No. You do not have that... You have that right, but you, you just... No. Okay, it's not okay that you decide to sit down while a widow's wife who's mourning who lost her husband gets to deal with that, okay? You should show some respect, but no, you didn't. Bernie Sanders, Senator Al Franken from Minnesota. Oh, wow, what a surprise. State right next to me. Stupid. Nancy Pelosi, minority leader. What a surprise. Senator Patty Murray, also a uh, representative, no, a senator. I said senator. Why did I say representative? Anyways, Democrat from Washington. Not a plot at all. They didn't do anything. Ah, <sighs> people sometimes. At the same time, they're going to go and bash Trump for doing all kinds of other stuff when his, when his first month of office isn't super productive. Obama had eight years and did nothing. Trump has had a month and has gotten rid of multiple things that we needed to get rid of. You do not have the right to do You do not have the right to do that, okay? Don't go trash talking when you can't even take any. Especially when everybody starts talking crap about this about CNN or anything. Speaking of CNN, interesting story. Uh, CNN put on their Twitter page a timer. Uh, a timer to keep track of when Trump last attacked someone on Twitter. It's really interesting because they were probably the last one. Let me see here. Mm, yeah, actually, it was about the media. CNN, uh, not necessarily specific, but big deal because they're a fake media news outlet. Uh, a fake news media outlet, and he just attacked them about it, I guess, even though they were the ones who were attacking him first. Um, but there, there's an actual attack thing. There's an actual timer. It's really weird that they're timing the President of the United States. You'd think that there'd be something about this. But there isn't. No one else is going to talk about it for Bright, Breitbart. Speaking of not bringing up things, uh, uh, Representative Cedric Ridman, a Democrat, um, from, uh, you know, I'm sorry, I can't remember where he's from right now. Just deal with it. But, uh, she's all, uh, getting on Kellyanne Conway, uh, Trump's advisor. Uh, the White House advisor. Trump's advisor, personal. Uh, um, they, everybody, uh, kinda 
dashed on her for something very stupid for kneeling on Lighthouse Couch. Hmm. I didn't realize that that deserved its own article, its own title. I mean, they kneeled. Holy cows. This is a big deal, apparently. The way that the country is going is going to be... It's just gonna die. The country is gonna die because she kneeled on a couch. How dare you, Kellyanne Conway. But, uh, anyways, uh, Cedric Richmond, uh, representative, Democrat, uh, thought that they'd go and talk about it. Okay. Okay, I'm alright with them addressing it. Like, hey, that might have been inappropriate. I don't see how it was. All she was doing was taking a picture. Everybody else thought it was inappropriate. CNN, Washington Post, Washington Times, all those leftist news media. But, uh, he, uh, said that you've mentioned... This is his exact, uh, statement. You even mentioned Kelly Kellyanne in that picture on that sofa. I really want to know what was going on there, because she really looked kind of familiar in that position there, but don't answer. Hmm. Kind of familiar in that position there. How, how could that possibly be taken? How could that possibly be taken? The Democratic Party, people who fight for women's rights. How could that possibly be taken, talking about another woman? What you talking about there, is their, uh, Representative Richmond? Are you trying to say something about our White House advisor? Are you stupid? I don't know. But, uh, in response to that, Senator Tim Scott earlier said, not necessarily in response, but said before, uh, a whole lot worse had happened on that couch in the 1990s. I don't know how many of you people know what happened in the 1990s, but, uh, there was this president, and his name was Bill. There was this giant scandal about this girl named Monica. I think you're starting to connect the dots. I don't need to go on any further. But uh, as big of a deal as that was, nobody seemed to mind when Obama stood on top of the desk in the White House. Pictures of that. Nobody made a news article on that. Pictures of him leaning on the desk with his feet, stepping on it, kicking off into the sofa, just doing whatever. Nobody really said anything about that. Nobody said anything about when Jimmy Carter did it. Oh, that'd be, that'd be crazy. Democrat get talked about by the liberal news? That would be insane. But anyways, later on he tweeted out, Hey, I need to clarify what I meant said, I think it, this is an exact quote, since some people have interpreted my joke to mean something I didn't think, that it didn't, I think it is important to clarify what I meant. Where I grew up saying that someone is looking or acting familiar simply means they're behaving too comfortably. Yeah, comfortably. I all know where you went there. Anyways, um, another thing I'm personally excited about. Dr. Ben Carson was confirmed by the Senate to be the lead of the Housing and Urban Development Department. I like Ben Carson. He's a really cool dude. Uh, a lot of people that I know made fun of him because he was kind of quiet and not... He wasn't President Trump. He wasn't like one of those guys who was yelling the entire time. He wasn't a... Uh, what's that guy's name? What's that guy's name? Arr, I can't think of his name. Uh, Chris Christie wasn't like either one of those guys who just were kind of outspoken and out there and stuff. But, uh, he's ahead of that now, and, uh, seeing from where he came from, who he is now, really, I think, was a good choice for the Senate to make. I don't know why it took so long, but seeing that he came from poverty, and eventually became the world's most renowned, uh, neurosurgeon, I think he's a great choice for stuff like this because he knows what it means to come from an urban place and to thrive and to make his name in the world. But uh, his life uh, was turned into a book and a movie called Gifted Hands. Uh, it's great. His, it's a lot about his life and who he turned out to be. But according to this article, his most famous single accomplishment was a surgery in 1998 when he successfully separated 11th month old twins joined at the head. 
They're Siamese twins with their heads conjoined. That's pretty cool. Oh, excuse me. But uh, the operation lasted about 20 hours. Uh, there are 20 doctors and nurses there who helped him complete the task. More than that, actually. But uh, even one of the Democrats, one of the senior Democrats in the Senate, said good things about him. Said he wouldn't have picked them for the uh, housing of urban development. But considering he's a Democrat and a liberal, I don't know if we can go by what he says. Uh, it's really great to see this, um, and people call Trump a racist. He's got an African-American person in his cabinet. I mean, I'm, come on. Ah, people sometimes. It's really funny. But, uh, there are two people, two Democrats. Uh, they stat. Um, everybody just went through, voted on them. It was like, uh, let's see, 58 to 41. Uh, for him getting in. Uh, one person didn't vote, as you tell, since the numbers don't add up. But, uh, there are two people, two Democrats. Virginia Senator Mark Warner and Washington Senator Patty Murray stood and chatted in the well of the chamber. This is exact words from the article. Murray put her thumb down for no. Warner put his thumb up for yes, but it had no effect on their conversation before they, too, left the Senate floor. <laughs> gotta love some people. Gotta hate some. Not necessarily hate. Gotta dislike some. Gotta love some. That's about all I have for you guys today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If uh, you guys have something you want me to talk about next week, uh, feel free to hit me up on Skype. O underscore Junebug. J U N E B U G O H underscore J U N E B U G. Uh, or just leave a comment down below. Make sure you leave a like so that I can keep on doing this. Uh, I uploaded a few clips the other days ago. Uh, just forget they ever happened. There's going to be a montage coming out some Monday. I'm going to start doing like a bi-monthly Monday montages or something like that. Uh, just, just forget I ever upload those clips. They're going to be a complete surprise to you when I finally upload this montage. That's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. Uh, this is a place welcome for everybody. But uh, I will talk to you guys next Friday. See you next week.